Good afternoon. We're so happy you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. Toy Story 4 is on super loud in the background. Got some buffalo cauliflower going in. So I just put in the cauliflower into the oven at 450 for 20 minutes and then I'm going to put in flatbreads for another 20 minutes. I have fried up a half an onion, a full yellow pepper, and some mushrooms for the toppings as well as some balsamic Brussels sprouts that are gonna go on the flatbread. Um, but next up I'm gonna make the little pesto sauce I'm putting on them. Starting it out with a little olive oil flour roux. Some of the onions and like the flavors from the veggies are gonna be left over because I'm using the same pan, but that's all right. They're going right on the same pizza. So once it's pretty bubbly, I'm just gonna add a splash of oat milk and then my pesto. And that's how it looks. I did add pepper and garlic to it. This is the basil from Aldi that I used, or I'm sorry, the, well, I guess it's like stirring basil pesto. Um, but we're gonna put it over one big flatbread and then just split it down. So I don't need too much. Um, but if you want it creamier, add in some more milk. You could also add in some Parmesan cheese or cheese replacement. I have a little bit of shaved Parmesan cheese, so I'm probably gonna put that on my half. Um, yeah, I'm gonna assemble it now and then get it in with the cauliflower. Alrighty, here are the finished flatbreads. I topped them off with red pepper flakes and I think I'm just gonna cook them until the Brussels sprouts get crispy. Um, if the rest of it is looking too cooked, then they might not get too crispy, but hopefully the balsamic will help with that. And there is the finished product. Something exciting just arrived in the mail. It's our hospital bag. We really don't have any bags this size and we wanted to buy something that we're going to use over and over again. So this is it. It's got a cool shoe compartment. Nice and big. Plenty of room. It has a cool strap. Fancy. If you can't tell, it's like more of like a grayish bluish color. But I like all the different accents with the buckles and the, the straps. So excited. Gotta start filling it. We got some mail. Holy moly. Did you pop the trunk? Yeah. We got so many fun books, diapers, and wipes. These really cute Florida set. Another little sleep bag. This is from a whole bunch of different people. This is a big box of hand-me-downs from a friend. Awesome haul. Well, 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 we are back at Epcot. It feels so good. It's only until nine tonight. Yeah, they, they extended the hours. But I'm interested to see the wait times and how World Showcase looks because they extended, or like, it was the first time that we've been here that the main two sections of the parking lot were all the way back, going all the way back to the back of the parking lot. Yeah. It's so a pretty full parking cool. lot. Yeah. I'm hoping know, to get in some DVC time. Yeah, and we know that some more food booths have opened. We're meeting up with our friends Jordan and Robert, who we haven't seen since February. February. Four, maybe. They were what? here for Festival of the Arts. Yes. And how long have they been in town now? They just got here yesterday. Oh, perfect. Yeah. I can feel it in my innards. It's almost time. It's almost time. For what? All of them to open. I really thought that was going to be open today. When do when do all of them open? Like it's fall now. Where's food and wine? Maybe it'll never open. What? <laughs> they tried to see. Oh, Winnie the Pooh was just hiding behind the tree. Interestingly enough, it was the first time we actually went to go to the DVC lounge and they had a wait list. And, but we only waited about five minutes. Oh. Look at Winnie. Also, Jordan and Robert are with us. Oh. Look at those masks. Hi. I love them. We're all trying to hide. They've been here for a while. We're in the DVC lounge and just chill. 
And just like that, we got our text and we got called and now we're in so the lounge. Good. You can take your masks off and in here. And you're sitting. And I'm gonna go get me a cold pop. It's rainy. Not as many people over here yet. There isn't. Kids, keep our fingers crossed. And I think Robert, Robert and I made the executive um, decision to go get yeah, some pretzels and beer from Germany. Yes, we've made it to the pretzels. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Sarah, dance? Sarah, this is my pretzel dance. Sarah actually came up with this idea because excuse me, we're gonna come up, we're gonna announce it now. Tomorrow morning, I am running the, the 40th London Marathon virtually. Virtually, <laughs> but I'm running the London Marathon tomorrow, so I gotta. Eat. He gets the medal, he gets it all. He's a, a participant, yes. but Let's we gotta make sure right. he's fueled and good and ready to go. Mariachi Cobra. So again, we've been here for 38 years, all because of your wonderful guests. So we appreciate you every Woo! single time you come and see us. Thank you so much. Fisherman's Pie. A world show play. Ain't no party like an Epcot party like <laughs> Epcot party got Fisherman's Pie. This is the third time this festival. I told you guys, it's my, it is my all time favorite festival item ever in all existence ever. Jordan oh. and Robert got one of everything. This is so much better than the ones at home. A mac and cheese party. We got lobster. They got normal buffalo, is it chicken? Buffalo, buffalo chicken, chicken, yeah. And the lobster as well. I think this is our favorite of the festival, besides the fisherman's pie, of course. I also stand corrected. This is not just regular mac and cheese. It's gourmet mac and cheese. Some, it's like extra cheesy on top and breadcrumbs. What is this? Looks divine. Borson mac and cheese. It's the Borson cream cheese. Oh, so that's cheese a stuff. big, huge like, oh. chunk of cheese on top. Like cream yeah. cheese. Stuff. Wow. Yeah. I'm going to get cake pops. Sarah doesn't know. I'm getting two. <laughs> dipping it, dipping it. So delicious. Oh, I got Twix in them. Nice, so did I. Look at that. Woo! Woo! All right, Sarah knows better than just send me off and just say, do you want to go grab the dessert? Singular, because we're going to come back with all of them. You could tell from that adorable shot of Eve that we're home. And we're now going to indulge in Target apple cider because I don't believe the state of Florida is able to produce quality apple cider. So we're going to try Targets. It's 9 o'clock at night. You know what that means. The festivities for the running begin now. This is called the Martin Sweet for America. Tonight I'm drinking Drink Mix 320. Gonna boost me up with about a hundred grams of some nutrients tomorrow morning. Drinking drink mix 160, and then I'm alternating during the marathon all of these bad boys between caffeinated and non caffeinated. We mean business lots of glucose, fructose, calcium, carbonate, glycogen, acid, sodium, alginate. What do you hear, Eve? Do you hear goblins and ghoulies from last Halloween? And on October 3rd, he asked me what day it was. It's October 3rd. 
Does anybody know what that quote's from? <laughs> of course you do. Be who you are and say what you feel because those who mind won't matter and those who matter don't mind. Dr. Seuss. I fell asleep on the couch. Like, I full on dreamt, like, full REM cycle. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.